Hey everyone, it's Mr. Robinson. I'm back for spring break here in LA and a new trailer for X-Men Days of Future Past came out and I'm going to talk about it right now. Uh, the first X-Men Days of Future Past trailer that came out I didn't review because it came out at a time when I wasn't reviewing trailers just yet and it felt like an eternity since that thing came out. But a new trailer's out, I'm reviewing trailers, I'm going to review this and really briefly um, what I thought of the past X-Men movies. I'll just go over really quickly. Uh, X-Men I liked, X2 I really liked, X-Men 3 I don't hate but I don't like either, X-Men Origins Wolverine, I made a review for it, I hate it. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. First Class I really love, one of my favorite superhero movies. And then the Wolverine, uh, flawed but enjoyably fun. Enjoyably fun to the point where I managed to buy the Blu-ray of it, uh, the extended edition even though it comes with a... 3D version that I can't watch, but Wolverine, fun movie. Um, now we got Days of Future Past coming out, and this new trailer honestly gave me chills watching it. I think it looks really good. Um, the plot, I think, involves time travel. I know it involves time travel and involves the first class cast, almost butchered that, and the original cast members coming together um, and basically going up against a common threat, similar to what happened in X2, where the X-Men were united, as the subtitle was. There are some things I like. I like the redesign of the Sentinels, which don't quite look like their comic book counterparts, but they look different enough for a live-action adaptation, yet keeping the impact that, yeah, those are Sentinels. Even if the future ones do look a bit like the Destroyer from Thor. At least in terms of that heat ray it fires from its head. Uh, it's good to see some older cast members come back. I mean, I feel like that this is going to be the be-all, end-all of X-Men. I know they're making more X-Men movies afterwards because Fox is reluctant to give up the rights to X-Men and Fantastic Four. But, I mean, this one feels like... I mean, if this movie is great, there could be no more X-Men movies afterwards. And... I'll be fine with that. I can go for some more Wolverine movies, honestly, until Hugh Jackman retires, but this looks like the be-all, end-all X-Men movie. Now, something I don't like, well, two things. One, I don't like the idea that Rogue got cut out, because um, Anna Paquin as Rogue was featured in the first trailer, and she even was featured on the cover of an Empire Magazine issue, and I, I just felt kind of sad, like, wow, you got this Empire Magazine cover, after it was announced that Rogue would be cut from the movie. What a way to add insult to injury. And also, I don't like the way Quicksilver looks. I mean, I'm under the impression that Quicksilver was only put in the movie in reaction to Joss Whedon putting Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch in Age of Ultron. I bet you Quicksilver in the original script for Days of Future Past was not even featured. It looks like a guy who rated a hot topic and decided to dye his hair purple-gray. What is that about? And I'll briefly sum up what I thought of the Age of Ultron looks for Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, which just popped up on the internet today. I think they look good. I'm a little unsold about Quicksilver's hair, but it definitely looks better than the Age of Ultron one. And I love, love the way Elizabeth Olsen looks as Scarlet Witch. But, I mean, that's a, another topic for another time. This is about X-Men, not Avengers. But this, but aside from my gripes about uh, cutting out Rogue and inserting Quicksilver, I think this is going to be a really good movie. I really hope it's good, and I hope it surprises me, because I really don't find myself excited for these... Sony or Fox Marvel movies as much as I do for the authentic Marvel movies, the ones in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I'm hoping for the best for this movie. And that's what I have to say about this new trailer. Leave a comment and tell me what you thought of the new X-Men Days of Future Past trailer. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff in the future. You can check out my other channel, AlexG462. You can follow me on Twitter at AlexG462. Follow me on Instagram at TheRealMrRobinson. And go like my Facebook page, slash The Cinemas with Mr. Robinson. Share me with your friends and tell them about me. And remember to know it before you see it. This has been The Cinemas with Mr. Robinson, and I'll see you guys later.